This is a video about a Valentine's Day lock gate that we made for outside of a store and a little bit of fun on Valentine's Day. You're going to need a few things for this project. Um, if you have these things lying about, it shouldn't cost you very much. Uh, you never know what you can source second hand. All right, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need an old gate. You're going to need some Valentine's Day themed bunting, about five meters of seed lights. The ones I'm using are battery operated. Uh, you'll need one big lock. You're going to need about three blocks in order to make a stand for your gate. If you don't have that, you can actually just lean it against a wall. You're going to need some string, paper pom-poms. You're going to need some paper tassels, some balloons, you're also looking for some heart or Valentine's Day type of decorations. With all of that, we're going to make a lock gate. So we're taking a little page out of Paris's book here and we're going with a smaller version of the Love Lock Bridge that is in Paris. So to start with, a stand was built and that was three blocks of wood and it was drilled. So the stand was made. Then tie your bunting onto the top so that it falls nicely. You can arrange it however you like. Then I added two red pom-poms on each side. These are just the paper pom-poms that you find in any good stationery store or giftware store or party store. Then I also had some white tassels so I put those uh, just underneath the red pom-poms so that it just filled up a bit of that space. I didn't want much of the metal showing. From last year I had some hearts which I just intertwined in between the chain mesh of the gate in order just to sit them within there for a little bit of decoration. Then I used the copper wire lights. Originally I just used the copper wire lights to go around the border of the gate just to light it up but it actually is copper wire lights with five arms coming off it so I actually had the option to be able to go up on one side with the heart, come back around a little and then go around the other side with the heart. So basically this was just a little bit of trial and error. I would just place out the way I wanted the heart to go then I would follow that with the chain mesh. I'd stand back, I'd look at it and I'd make adjustments and I'd make sure the lights were on so that I could see what I was doing. So that created the heart. And then I decided that you really couldn't see the heart that was lit up against just any old plain wall it really needed a backing. That's where I just used weed mat and some black cable ties and we popped that on and that did the trick. We just asked people to add their locks in order to win. Uh, it was for a bakery in this case so they won a gateau if they added it. We just asked people to give us their key. Then we just chose one of those keys by random and then we used that key to try on all the locks until it opened one and that person was the winner of the uh, Valentine's Day keto so it's very exciting to see people getting involved i'm going to keep it full so that next year it gets fuller so i think it could go out and be used constantly second time around i'd probably paint the gate white just so it stood out a little bit more in that black and around the heart on the outer barrier i think i'd like to do that kind of flower wall effect maybe some flowers maybe some greenery don't know yet it really was just a creation that came about with a gate and an idea I had no plan and it just came together like this and I hope that you know some of you may like this idea in either your shops or a fun party or just whatever you're doing thanks for watching guys have a great day and belated happy valentine's day see ya